I'm pretty down. I mean, yeah. I, I'm okay. in both Star Wars and Trek. I'm more versed in Star Wars, I think. Mm-hmm. The only Trek I never watched was the original series. I watched oh. all of Next Generation all the way up to... Oh, I didn't watch Enterprise either. Okay. I'm pretty good with Next Generation and Voyager. Yeah, me too. Um, Those are the two bu- that I know best. Yeah. Oh, on DS9, like... bitches! <laughs> Deep Space Nine oh, I forgot about DS9. Wack. Deep I Space watch Nine DS9 was either. like the best. No, it's fucking whack. <laughs> no, it it's is fucking the whack. best. <laughs> that show looks stupid. It is not stupid. It is all the awesome. It is the best Star Trek ever. A lot of people say that. Is it because it's serialized? No, it's because it's fucking awesome. Who's the Who's the captain in Deep Space Nine? Is that fucking Scott Bakula? No, that's Enterprise. No, Enterprise is actually oh, pretty okay. good. No, this it's Cisco, played by Avery Cisco, Books, right. who is completely off his shit mad. Who? Uh, Avery Brooks. Who's, who was, like, Jane that was or whatever Voyager. in captain Voyager? Jane, right. right. Yep. Yeah. She was good. She was a great captain. Dude, she's awesome. She plays yeah. Red in Orange is the New Black, and she kicked Oh, really? Ass. Yeah. All right, James, you're supposed to be here by now. What's going on, you motherfucker? What's your favorite scary movie? I'm your number one fan. We all go a little mad sometimes. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Welcome to John Hates Movies, the movie review podcast where my friends prevent me from filming my own horror movie where I just repeatedly kill the creators of Leprechaun over and over and over again and instead force me to watch movies. <laughs> this week we have with us Eric Largent. <laughs> <Tell you. laughs> we have Jamie Donaldson. I didn't come to play with fruit. I only seek me magic flute. Yeah. We <laughs> we have Alex Mitchell. Top of the morning to ya. And we have James Barrup. I see you guys don't get it. There's physical and then metaphysical. <laughs> <laughs> and I am your host, John oh, Barrup. Gosh. And uh, we have quite a show for you today. <laughs> <laughs> do we? Do we? Really? Do we really? yeah. Oh, quite. <laughs> So, uh, the movie in question for this week is uh, Leprechaun 5, Leprechaun in the Hood. Uh, yes. John, on Netflix, does it does it mention, uh, do, do, like, when you read the synopsis, are you going to tell us who the, the writer of this movie was? Well, actually, no. And there's a reason for that. Because yeah, there is. <laughs> as of this morning, all the Leprechauns have been pulled from Netflix. What? Are yes. you serious? Yes. yes. <laughs> no! Yep. <laughs> you can thank John Hates Movies for that and our letter writing campaign. <laughs> <laughs> because after I watched this movie, I spent the next 24 hours writing letter after letter after letter <laughs> and sending them all to Netflix. And is it really not on Netflix anymore? Yeah, no, they're gone. Yeah, yeah. they're gone. So, like, yeah. today it went <laughs> off, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, that's bullshit. Well, I... I can't remember when, but I feel like it was really close to midnight when I started this movie last night. Mm. <laughs> Perhaps Which, the second you half of it all was of a us. ghost. <laughs> Dude. Well, I don't remember this movie. Like, I don't remember it very well, so I very well could have like watched Ninja <laughs> Turtles or something. <laughs> <laughs> Still a better movie. Okay, so here is a synopsis, this time pulled off of IMDb. When inspiring hip-hop performers Butch, Postmaster P, and Stray Bullet cross <laughs> record producer Mac Daddy, their grudge against him leads to their own peril. After they break into Mac Daddy's home and swipe an ancient medallion from a grotesque statue, the evil leprechaun is freed from his magical prison. Soon the sinister man is on the trail of Butch, Postmaster P, and Stray Bullet, along with Mac Daddy himself. 
Directed by Rob Spira, screenplay. Oh, yeah, actually, that does list the screenplay. Mark Jones, Doug Hall, and Alan Reynolds. There's actually a fourth person who uh, was engaged in writing this movie as well. I can't remember their name. But I think the take-home message here is that it took four people to write this damn movie. Well, according to <laughs> according to Wikipedia, it's actually like five. Jesus five Christ. Five people to write this track? Well, right, yes. Yeah. Uh, God! How fucking That's dumb depressing. do they make people? It, it, yes. took, it took like five people to write Justin Bieber's song, Baby. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, but two of them a, were... That's a masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them was ludicrous. So, you know. Uh, I see. <laughs> oh, yeah. This movie is starring Warwick Davis, who, for some reason, I still like. Um, <laughs> Ice-T. Oh, yes. Ice-T. Uh, Red Grant, Rashawn Nall. And uh, A.T. Montgomery, who I'm going to refer to occasionally as Travis, because the guy who played Postmaster P on this was um, the ensign from the Starship Enterprise in the Enterprise uh, Star Trek series. So, oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yep, he went from playing a, a thug to being... The shittiest rapper in the world. The shittiest rapper <laughs> in the world to uh, basically being the helmsman of the Starship Enterprise. So, another thing to show that never give up on your dreams, kids. Um, <laughs> all right, so as is John Hates Movies tradition, the person who picked the movie gets no to brother. talk about it first. <laughs> and... Eric, you are responsible for this, so <laughs> you bastard! Oh, you have no idea. I, I, I was literally screaming at the walls while watching this film. <laughs> it was basically it started out sensical, but it pretty much ended up just plain screaming, and not because it's it scary. Started sensical. <laughs> yeah, it, it started with how can this be worse than the first fucking movie? And just devolved from there. <laughs> okay, guys. So when I picked this movie last week, I I had like a theme in mind. I like I kind of really wanted to like like how we have Sharknado in the summertime is like our summer tradition, our summer movie. I would love for our fall tradition to become a uh, Leprechaun, but if if Netflix allows us to do that, uh, they fucking better put all the Leprechauns. Back up on Netflix next year for us to fucking enjoy or else there's going to be trouble. I'm going to like – I'm going to write a strongly worded email to Netflix just like Johnny did <laughs> trying to get it yep. back. But but anyways, uh, just like last year, guys, I, I drew a few pictures. Like I drew a picture of a gat you can you can see. I drew a picture of a water bong. Uh, I drew a picture of, of like a pretty hard-looking dude with a dookie rope uh, that <laughs> – <laughs> that has a, a flavor flave clock on it that's showing 420. I I drew I think a very lovely picture of a pint of Guinness, yes. which uh, you mm -hmm. know it's beautiful. You captured it, and also, and I drew this shit before the movie, before I watched the movie. So I drew a weed plant that was genetically really? modified to grow four leaf clovers, and they did that shit in the movie. Like I like that's <laughs> fucking insane. I wow. can't believe. Shit Were you like the secret sixth writer of this damn right? fucking movie? <laughs> well, okay, so uh -huh. like I knew from you know from everything we've seen that the leprechaun is gonna like burn some tree in this movie, you know, like like that was gonna happen. So like I you know I guess it's just the logical next step to take that there you're gonna have four leaf clover weed, like that's just got to be a thing, right? Yep. Yep. Also, uh, <laughs> this Warwick Davis credibility chart, like this guy. Really, and especially after Leprechaun 6 and his subsequent firing from the series, does Warwick Davis have any credibility left? Like, really? Like, that's a question we should ask ourselves and, and really, <laughs> you know, dig into. I don't think so, but uh, I, I suppose <laughs> so it's... So Warwick didn't quit? He actually got fired? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that he was like straight up fucking canned because <laughs> all the movies that he was in were so bad um but now they're going with some dude named hornswoggle as the leprechaun and you know i guess that's a thing john you like wrestling right yes do you know what a hornswoggle is no <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's like a little person wrestler named Hornswoggle, and apparently that's the new Leprechaun. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I... Uh, uh, I'm not really... 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, but also like uh, previous iterations of uh, of Leprechaun movies and reviews, I uh, got way too shitty and wrote some notes. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. And I, I guess at the beginning of this episode, I I posited when uh, you know I guessed as to when I uh, really started this movie. And I, I have it right here. Okay, finally, 1218, we begin Leprechaun 5. <laughs> uh, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't seen Leprechaun 4. Uh, I feel like I may not get the whole plot here. <laughs> uh, next one is, oh shit, it's the special Leprechaun flute. That is mom. Oh my god, my handwriting's already so bad I can't read it. Oh, that's been passed down from generation to generation. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so like Ice T had his like special leprechaun flute that he passed down from generation to generation, I guess. Oh no, I remember that I was referencing that amazing Mobile Alabama leprechaun in the tree video where uh, this is where the guy holds up a. Uh, a, uh, a flute? <laughs> yeah, a, a quote unquote flute and says it's a leprechaun flute that's been passed down from generation to generation. <laughs> uh, next note the leprechaun just quoted Martin Luther King Jr. Oh, <laughs> no, right? So fresh. He did? So fresh. Yeah, it was free at last. Free at last. Oh, thank God like, Almighty. Wow. And it was like right off the beginning. Yeah. I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So let me get this straight. These guys are from Compton. They're sensitive dudes and they want to win a rap battle to get to the big time. We definitely, we definitely haven't heard of anything like this before. This, <laughs> uh, next note. These three homeboys are the same three dudes in every D, in every GTA game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. These guys seriously like the dialogue and the acting, the performances made me think of a GTA game. It really no, did. Oh, you're right. You're right. Like GTA 3, the the LA version, whatever, San Andreas. Yep. Like that like this these guys reminded me of GTA San Andreas. <laughs> uh next note, LOL Tiger Hoods just capped that Irish bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> next note is not readable but i feel like the leprechaun rhyming is whack is what i was trying to get at there <laughs> <laughs> i did not like all the leprechaun uh. rhymes oh yeah because like in the other movies like every single one of his lines wasn't a rhyme was it like he he said no. things that weren't no. like fucking said things that weren't rhymes yeah like like they weren't whack rhymes <laughs> <laughs> I don't know oh shit I feel like oh yeah I feel like I want to Google search whack raps <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and you know I can confirm I I opened my phone this morning and I was confused as to when I uh, when I opened my Safari browser. That uh, it was to a Google search called Whack Raps. Um, <laughs> I can only imagine what you would pull up on well, that. Well, the, like, there wasn't really anything good from Whack Raps. Like, that's not really a thing. Like, people, I don't know, Whack Aww. Raps. I need to start a Whack Raps, web, yeah. Whack Raps yep. website. www.whackraps.com. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> Maybe it was your maybe it was your search term. Maybe you had to put in uh, raps that are whack. whack. <laughs> oh, next note: commence search. Okay, so that's when I searched Google for whack raps. Um, uh, dude, crazy old, crazy black stereotypes, crazy Irish stereotypes, and crazy Asian stereotypes. This movie is yes. fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, next note so you're telling me that those motherfuckers have my leprechaun flute and if I gets it back the whole movie is over you best gets it back bitch <laughs> <laughs> that's a note that was a note guys <laughs> uh, next note man there are no hot honeys in this movie mm. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know about well, that. I, I think not I'm, at that point. I may have beginning. I may have written that when the guys were dressing in drag, break, breaking into a club. That was awesome. <laughs> um, it was also the end of the movie. So oh, really? You, yeah. you made quite the jump. <laughs> oh, geez. The next note: these guys aren't really good at rap. Uh, <laughs> That's uh, why I was wondering why you needed to look up whack raps. That this entire movie was full of them. Uh, next note. Yeah. The, these guys are the worst rappers that have ever rapped. <laughs> uh, uh, next note: I'm a real talk you JHM. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I'm cool. I'm real talking John Hayes movies right now. Uh oh. <laughs> you and you guys can tell. Like I haven't I haven't like I haven't like test read these. Like these are all just coming out. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, this movie is so bad. There isn't even any room to make fun of it. This movie isn't even trying to be good. Okay, so like I th- that's kind of maybe part of my review. A lot of times, bad movies are so bad that you can like make fun of them, and like you know they're like trying to do something, and like there's you know there's maybe like inventive dialogue in the script, or like people are trying to do interesting things. Nobody in this movie did anything interesting. Nobody said anything interesting. There was nothing like. There was there wasn't there weren't even any like rough edges that you could make fun of. This is just like the most vanilla bullshit of all time. Like that's that's what this movie is, <laughs> mm-hmm. and that's what I was that's yeah. what I was getting at with that. Uh, next note: more whack raps. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Next note: Coolio is better than this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Coolio just like yeah, money man. Coolio is not better than nothing. The check. Uh, the ne- next note: <laughs> flutes suck. Uh, yeah. Next note: uh, my sister played the flute. That sucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next next note: uh, when when your sister learns how to play the flute uh, without a teacher, that means she has to sit in a room all night and learn how to play the flute by uh, constantly failing. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hey, shout out, Lisa. You kept me up all night playing the flute in high school, and that sucked. Uh, <laughs> um, That's I wonder if flutes suck. Okay. <laughs> yeah, flutes suck. Um, oh, shit. Zombie Fly Girls? Yeah. Yep. Did that happen? Yep. Yes. Did that happen yes. in this movie? <laughs> I don't remember it. Yes. Yeah. Um, next note. that The leprechaun's rhymes are fucking whack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I, I'm like working off a theme here. Yeah. Um, next note, I don't feel bad. His rhymes were the wackest. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay, guys. So, like, if 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 there's anything we can gather from my notes, I was not impressed by the rhymes in this movie. Um, I was also not impressed by the plot or uh, the the story that the four writers. The four different writers of this movie gave us to work <laughs> off of here. There was nothing going on. Like, there is absolutely, like, nothing happens in this movie. I don't know. I guess they break into a nightclub. I guess lady werewolves show up. Or what did I say? Fucking zombie, zombie fly girls. Zombie, zombie fly, fly girls. girls show up? I don't remember that. But it, <laughs> it, it couldn't have been that good. There's a guy in this movie named Postmaster P. <laughs> Which is like the whack mm-hmm. version of a whack rapper already. Like Master P is a fucking whack rapper. He has whack raps, <laughs> uh, and this movie has an even whacker rapper. And Ice T is not even cool. Yep. <laughs> so that's Ice my tea. review. Ice T. Okay. Yeah. So if I could say one sentence about this movie, it would be this: Ice T is not even cool. So like on on uh, what's that dumb show that Ice T's on oh. that Alex likes? Oh, that's that Law and Order. Fight words with me. <laughs> that shit Law and Order or whatever <laughs> Law and Order Special Victims Unit. Okay, <laughs> so you're telling me that the rapist was a bad guy the whole time. I don't know. That's my that's my impression of of Ice T on that show. Like he like Is that an actual yeah, line. Like he <laughs> like he uh he just needs the plot to be explained to him every week. It never there's never an episode of SVU where Ice T doesn't need everything explained to him. Ice T's not even cool in this. Like if, and and Ice T is has been cool in movies. Yep. Uh shout out to uh where uh, Ruger Hauer was hunting him in the Most woods. Most dangerous game. Yeah, most dangerous game with Ice T and Ruger Hauer. Shout out. That's a that's a bad movie, but it's not that bad. It's not as bad as. <laughs> so you're telling me that the most da- you got is man. Okay. 
So you're telling me that the most dangerous game is man. <laughs> okay, Ruger Howard. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it. I got to say, your iced tea is pretty fun. Yeah, product. it is. I'm really impressed. I am super impressed. Let's destroy all the goodwill from uh, dear white no. people, and you be iced tea, and I'll be... Uh, <laughs> no. No. Just... My iced tea impression is not racist. That's just... that's ju- He's got a really distinctive voice. Like, yes, I'm not... That's what he sounds yeah, like. Okay. What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me we're, we're dragged out to the woods and this motherfucker's gonna hunt us to death? God damn it, get me the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> man, black people shouldn't even be in the woods, man. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so before this like divulges into an an entire shit show where we give back, (laughs) where we give back all the goodwill that we gathered after our last other episode that we listened to watched movie, (laughs) I'm ceding the remainder of my time to everybody else. Goodbye. (laughs) So in summation, Eric, if you could describe it in one word. How would you describe this movie? Whack! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Okay, so as funny as that was, the movie was terrible. (laughs) Uh, Without a doubt. So, um, who is next? I would love to go next, mainly because Eric is really going to hate my notes. Uh Oh, Oh, shit. Imagine a life where all you did was speak in rhyme. It'd be funny at first, but then it'd just be a crime. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Don't do this. Yep. Here we yep. go, fellas. It's, it's happening. Give me my lucky charms, bitch, or get some stitches like some kind of snitch. Oh, God. Snitches. Ah! Yes. Snitches. <laughs> These aren't in the movie. These are her. These are all me. These are all me, people. Ice, ice Tea's fro is like a Mary Poppins bag. Funny, but a very obvious gag. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> These webs are whack. These webs are whack, Alex. <laughs> Hold on. I have a couple left. Positive rap will never make monies. Smack them bitches up is how you get the honeys. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> how, how does a stoner leprechaun get anything done if you're always baked? How do you run? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Explains why the movie took an hour and a half to get his fucking suit back. <laughs> all right. All of this rhyme is making me sick, but what I needed was some kind of shtick. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, so this movie sucked a lot of ass. Um, I, I actually just started falling asleep while watching it. And I, I, at a certain point, I don't even know how long my eyes were closed. I reopened my eyes and it was towards the end of the film. And I was like, wait, did, did the leprechaun hit that bong yet? <laughs> and it wasn't even in the movie. No. Yeah. Like that really disappointed me that the leprechaun didn't take any bong rips in this movie. <laughs> because like that would have been great. <laughs> right? Oh yeah, the screenshot. Yeah, 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 yeah that, that, that wasn't in it. That wasn't a screen from the movie. Yeah, no. that must have. That, that must have been Leprechaun back, back to, to the, the hood. hood. Yeah, dude. Oh okay. yeah, man. Okay. If I was writing this shit, like you, ha- you give them like that bong rip scene, and that's <laughs> awesome. But then you have them like, like the people chasing him around while they he finds larger and larger bongs. <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, bigger than me, you know? And then finally, like, he finds this bong that's, like, fucking huge, and he's, like, trying to, like, hit it, and then the guys sneak up behind him and push him in like he's the witch in Hansel and Gretel, and then they just put a cap on it, and he's just like, ah, I don't even want to get out. That's uh. a fucking good movie. That, that's <laughs> funny. That actually sounds funny. <laughs> I'm with Alex. This movie sucked so much ass. There was literally no more ass to be had. No, not at all. It sucked all the ass. So, Alex, I'm sure you have some more to say. Um, or was that no? It? That this was pretty the... much it. It just really sucks ass. <laughs> yes, it, it, it does. It really does. So, um, who's next? Yeah, I guess if Jamie has notes, and we'll do some note sandwiches, <laughs> and I'll be the meat. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Is meat away, works? James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! All right, James, show me your meat. 
I don't think we got enough time for Ew. that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, there's a lady right. here. Hey, y'all ready for some meat? Wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, let's just say my meat is properly brown. What the fuck? Now that is racist. <laughs> really? Because I kind of took it as like a, a gay joke. What? That, no, it's not a, oh, it's, no, it's not a gay oh. joke. It's, and he didn't it cook his a dick joke. on a skillet. He's the... <laughs> <laughs> wow, this has got to get cut. Scrap, scrap. Abort, abort. <laughs> that was not a Planned Parenthood joke. Okay. Oh, 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 Dude, this shit. It's like the funniest thing in the entire episode. Yeah, you can't come back. You can't funny. do it. Oh, I'm, oh, no. Hey, guys. I'm, I'm yeah, editing I know, this one. Editing this. <laughs> yeah. It's staying in, motherfucker. Yeah, we're, there might right. be some beeps, but this thing is staying in. <laughs> James. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, the movie was awful. Believe it or not, everybody, a lot of people have said a lot of the shit I was going to say already. <laughs> you were going to make Nobody some black said anything. The movie is fucking terrible. The editing is really fucking awful. You can tell that, like, a lot of the scenes were, like, put in completely wrong order. Like, the scene over credits, that was over the credits, was actually supposed to be after he electrifies the guy with the microphone stand. He was supposed right. to take yeah. the mic and then do his rap. And because, like, w- it cuts from there, and then, like, the dude blows on the flute, and then it cuts back to the leprechaun in the bar with, like, the Satan honeys already around him. Yeah. And you're mm-hmm. like, well, who the fuck are those girls? Like, it's just something right. was, like, He's chilling in a basement somewhere and some hot chicks took a nap on him for no fucking reason. That is what it seemed like. Yeah. So I, I nap on leprechauns all the time, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Good to know it's uh, a thing. Eric, did you hear what she called you? I, I you know. <laughs> hey. Oh shit. <laughs> I am short and part Irish, so you know. I guess if the shoe fits. <laughs> oh, shoes, like in the first movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, whatever happened to that? Where people could, could, could just throw a shoe and get rid of the leprechaun. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Why did shoes make him go away? Because he likes because shoes. He had to I don't polish know. Him. He had to polish them. Oh, he had yeah. Stop what he was doing and polish them. He was a shoe shine. <laughs> <laughs> they probably you decided that he was, a boot, he was a bootleg from, you know, from the first movie. Dude, Racist I'm, I'm... from day one. <laughs> Dude, I am telling you, the first movie has it far above this fucking piece of shit. It, anyway, it really geez. does. It's got Jenny A in it. I mean, come on. <laughs> uh... I never thought I'd look fondly upon Leprechaun One, but Jesus. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, there were a few bits that were, like, funny, like, the the bunch of things in his afro, that was, the, that got nope. a chuckle, and, <laughs> and the bit where, the, uh, <laughs> where they're in, like, the church attic, and, like, they do the, you know, they, you know, hit the rock thing, and then they hit the leprechaun, and, like, the leprechaun's in line with them, and they hit the rock, and they're just sitting there, and, uh, you know, I got, I chuckled at that, but the rest of the movie, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. It's all awful. <laughs> Forget it. The fucking horrible church rap. Yeah, Jesus love me, this I know. <laughs> if I don't, I'll get a hoe. I mean, that's kind of funny. <laughs> but, like, the rap fucking sucked. So even the magic flute isn't going to save that shit. All right. The last thing I'll say about this movie is that, man, I'm amazed Postman, out of all the fucking people, to have kind of a career after this movie. <laughs> Honestly, I thought it would be like, uh, well, like, uh, the guy with the, with the Modi teeth. <laughs> mm. You know, but. Yep. Like, uh, the, yeah, those virgin jokes. The virgin? Yeah. yeah. Do you think there's pussy in heaven? <laughs> 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 that got a laugh out of me, too, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, but no, man, like, Postmaster P was the worst fucking actor in this movie. The worst hands down. Yeah. Every absolutely. single shot was like straight ahead with his fucking face like framed like close up. This is like here's his fucking face. Uh- <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there, weren't, weren't there some scenes with Poster Master P with his shirt off? I yeah, think I remember okay. that, right? Those oh, must have- come on. 
<laughs> Those must have happened later after he got used to, like, you know, I don't know, being on a set and doing some shit. Because <laughs> cause there are a lot of shots where it's just him in front of the fucking camera reading into it like he's fucking Magic Johnson in 1987. <laughs> I like basketball. You should like basketball, too. <laughs> home run <laughs> so, so I guarantee you while he's on the set they were like they're like action uh, cut cut Pope Master P you can't look at the camera when you're doing your lines okay, again. <laughs> P don't look at the camera P straight is to your right Turn your body to the right. Now turn your head forward. No, not at the camera. Look at Stray. Okay, now keep rolling. Say your line. Don't turn your head to the camera when you start talking. Fuck it. We'll just put the camera in front of him. We'll cut it in. Be an ADR is voice later. I don't give a shit. Have a mumble. I guess this is the movie we're making. God, that was so accurate. Oh, oh wow. All right. So that's that's pretty much all I have to say. James has to be the worst actor in the movie. James. If you I could use really one word to re- to uh, sum up this movie, what would it be? Offensive. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, what do you think? So, so I'm up. You're up. Okay. So, as everybody said, it was a horrible movie. I did take a lot of notes. Um, a lot of things were already touched already, touched on already. But it's like uh, I don't know. I guess with most movies. I you know we invest time in it, so I try to pull at least something of value from them, even if they're horrible. <laughs> okay, so that this is like out. a bright side review. <laughs> That's what I'm okay. trying to do. I guess we're gonna kind of like bump it up on the end a little bit, but let's see. So the very beginning, we have Ice T in an Afro wig coming in upon a six pack of Colt 45. <laughs> Colt and 54. Say, was it 54? Yeah, it was no, Colt 54, geez. but you could oh, tell what they okay. were doing, yeah. Right, but Colt 45, essentially. Yes. And I said, the tone has been set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all you need to know. <laughs> right, it's like, oh man, this is going to be a ride. I knew exactly what I was in for when he saw that, or when I saw that scene. And then I put into my notes, I had this later, but then I put it at the beginning because I want to say it now. This movie undoes Everything dear white people did for dispelling <laughs> racial stereotypes. It's Shut like we up, did Jamie. that movie. It was great. And we did uh, dear white people. It was great. And, you know, we talked about a lot of great stuff. And now this movie just kind of negates everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the- it's like this, this undid all that good work, basically. I said in my notes is for dispelling all racial stereotypes, not just for black, uh, but for Asians, for transgender stereotypes blind stereotypes <laughs> blind people and of course the white stereotype they even have like one white guy in the whole movie and they made him as white as possible <laughs> yeah. he was the uh right. yeah. promoter from the yeah yeah yep and the dialogue all sounds like a street written by a bunch of white guys yep. <laughs> and they throw in oh, every God. single cliche in the book Right that's, what I'm fucking, that's what I'm fucking talking about with that GTA. Like, this this seemed like a video game. You know, this is video game dialogue. I know people said that it was stupid that uh, the Leprechaun raps, but I actually kind of liked that. <laughs> <laughs> because... Ja- Jamie Hart's whack raps. <laughs> <laughs> well, the rap, the rap was all crap. <laughs> oh, no, Jamie! <laughs> that's whack! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I... The leprechaun rapping, or not rapping, uh, well, yeah, he did rap. The leprechaun speaking in rhyme I thought was kind of interesting, and I thought that all his idiotic, stupid lines were so stupid that I enjoyed them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like, okay, what, cause, what kind of stupid shit's going to come out of his mouth now? So I, I, I wrote down every line of War, Warwick's is now quotable. <laughs> <laughs> and I have some if you would like to hear them. Yeah, give me <laughs> some. Yeah, sure. 
Okay, there is the one I opened with. I didn't come to play with fruit. I only seek me magic flute. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> and then there was the opening poem that he did. Mm -hmm. Or rap, however you want to say it. But the last line was, flee while you can. The future is not good, for no one is safe from a lep in the hood. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so <God>. awful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was like, oh, man. <laughs> He's like, and he calls himself a lep. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody fucking calls a leprechaun a lep. That's fucking stupid. No. I like it. Like, he just had to say, um, and nobody's then safe from leprechaun in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Same number of syllables sounds fucking better. And it's the title of your fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, you know what, James? That's, that's accurate. This was not called... <clears throat> Lep in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> if it was, we would have missed it. <laughs> so maybe it should have been called Lep in the Hood. Another quote was, I'm here to claim me golden shillings. Now give them back or there might be killings. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, you're really good at the leprechaun. <laughs> like you're good at leprechaun voice. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one I have is... Uh, from the depths of the netherworld, I summon you, my zombie fly girls. <laughs> Which God, I thought was like, what? That doesn't even rhyme. <laughs> That's a real stretch. Yeah, that is a real stretch. I know, stretch. but I, but like every line, it was rhyming in the movie, for the most part, that he had, right? So yeah, I guess that, just that about. was the line, so I guess that's the rhyme. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. When he uh, turned into the stone... Uh, Leprechaun. I thought those were some of the worst effects I've seen in a long time. <laughs> yeah. I have another note here that says, uh, Chow dance good. Chow got the moves. Chow offends me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, then I just have a note that says, uh, Let smoke and weed. <laughs> but I was sure it was bound to happen. I was expecting the bong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who smokes the blunts? We smoke the blunts. <laughs> and then at this point, <laughs> at this point, I wrote a t uh, I wrote a note that says, "Oh, please tell me the lep's gonna rap." No, <laughs> <laughs> lep rap, <laughs> definitely not a whack rap. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here's the uh, picking on the little people too. What gang do you belong to? The shrimps. <laughs> uh -huh. One of the guys said that to him. Yeah. I think it was Jackie or something. Jackie D. Yeah. And Jackie his wife, D. Jackie C. <laughs> no, 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 no. It wasn't his wife. Oh, uh, well, he was, it was because, Stray's mom. Yeah, it was Stray's it was... mom. But they, but the grandma, when Stray comes over, she's like, Is your mom still fooling around with Jackie D? I don't know. <laughs> so, whatever. Yeah, the, the grandma. What the fuck? That scene was that, fucking that, ridiculous. That... I have no idea what the fuck. Yeah, that was. All of was... those things were in this movie? I don't remember no, any of them. They, they, they weren't really there, though. Like, shit just happened. Like, literally shit yeah. just fucking happened. People showed up when they had no reason of knowing where the fuck a thing was, and... Yeah, or where the fuck a thing was, and then... <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, it seemed very haphazardly thrown together, and with uh, four writers, you know, I'm not surprised. Like, they all, all wrote their own pages and kind of brought them together. Yeah. yeah. Jackie's death took too long, and I was wondering if the leprechaun was the woman, or was he controlling the woman? Any clue? Because because the woman got, like, really crazy. And yeah, her face melted crazy a bit. Looking. But then, yeah. but then the, scene, the scene, like, cuts to the leprechaun, and I think he's, like, hiding in the trunk? Yeah, there's no place I don't where, know it's where just, he like, is. Like, Jackie's still being murdered. Yeah, <laughs> right, man. It's amazing. You guys like remember things that happen as in this far, movie. That's like crazy. As far as we know, that leprechaun <laughs> is in her ass. <laughs> right. I thought that for a second. I thought that for a second. <laughs> Controlling you like a puppet, I be. I don't know. This might be my thing for the podcast now. It seems, but uh, is this a thing? Where you mix a douche with jelly and it is very combustible. Yeah. Do you remember that, that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. That was crazy. <laughs> I have no idea if that's a thing, though. 
<laughs> the, the, I, I'm, I'm with I'm with you with I I knew that the uh, the weed tube was a thing, but <laughs> but whatever that was, no, no, I, <laughs> chances are no. I mean, no, it can't possibly be a thing, and the reason it can't possibly be a thing is because it was in this fucking. <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> no, yeah, they just wanted to combine two feminine hygiene products to make them combustible. Uh, black grandma stereotype. Yeah. Thumbs up. Massage my bunions and soup with plenty of hot sauce like y'all like. Come on. <sighs> yeah, it's like I said, this this movie like negates all that good that we do with dear white people. <laughs> yes. Uh Coolio stretching playing Coolio. <laughs> <laughs> uh and Jesus rap with a backbeat from nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, Coolio shows up and it's like, oh, well, we got to, you know, we got to bring it. And then all of a sudden there's a beat and all of a sudden everybody's on board with it. With the Jesus <laughs> rap. So. I love Okay. I love- <laughs> Jesus works in mysterious ways. Fuck you. That's not an answer. <laughs> I like the simplest, like, argument from evil, like, deconstruction I've ever heard. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Dennett. And William Lane Craig. Jesus works in a mysterious way. Fuck you, that's not an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Whack raps for 100, please. <laughs> <laughs> the next note I have is leprechauns for dummies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How yeah. Butch, Butch is the guy, I guess, with all the brains <laughs> who goes to the library or goes to the bookstore and picks up le- leprechauns for dummies, which tells you how to kill a leprechaun. And in this <laughs> leprechaun for dummies book, it says that the, if the leprechaun smokes four-leaf clovers, <laughs> then he's rendered incapacitated. <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> it's like, okay, so they're going to put it in a joint. And then, of course, that's what they do. So, yeah, Of course. Perfect. Of course. Uh, then comes the obligatory cross-dress scene um, where they're getting all ready to go. And then Butch dying in a dress, a virgin, saddest part of the whole movie. <laughs> really? <laughs> of all the people dying, a... I guess that was the worst one. <laughs> well, I guess if you're going for a positive spin, I can understand. Yeah, Jamie's, <laughs> well, Jamie's a positive rapper. He's putting a positive spin on everything. He wants to help the neighborhood. Yeah, the saddest part of the movie for me was when the credits rolled and it said Leprechaun 5. (laughs) (laughs) That was the saddest part of the movie for me. Yeah, that was rough. (laughs) I don't Um, think I will ever get over it. And then Postmaster P and the Leprechaun have a little mini rhyme rap battle. Where Master, do you remember uh, Postmaster P actually started doing the Leprechaun sounds? Yeah. Or the Leprechaun voice and started rapping back at him I was like oh god and luckily it was only like two or three lines they didn't like make a whole thing of it a beat didn't drop nothing like that <laughs> <laughs> and then the end rap scene which was of course taken out of context because they wanted to end on a high note <laughs> so they put the rap scene at the end and then my last note is never been happier to see credits <laughs> don't get me wrong i wrote a lot of things about this movie that is like Oh, this was funny. This was good. I like this. It's like, <laughs> I didn't really like any of it. I could see enjoyment of some of these things, but yeah, this movie sucked real bad. Real, real, real bad. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to tie this home. Uh, bring it bring it on down. <laughs> to I'm, 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 to Tom Liville. Bring it on down. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I appreciate your attempt, Jamie, to, to to show this movie in a semi-positive light. But there is absolutely nothing redeeming about this film at all. That is true. That is correct. Pretty much. The highest production value you will see if you ever decide to find and watch this film is in the very beginning when they do that thing where the producers do their own little credit reel, where they, they do that. It wasn't Lionsgate, but it was the one right before that with all this like, duh, 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 duh. And then from that point on, the rest of the movie is just shit. <laughs> it is the most racist, 
stupid piece of crap I've ever seen. <laughs> the the scenes are all wrong. Everything's out of context. Shit's flying all over the place. I don't know what's going on. The you don't care. The dialogue is insipid. <laughs> I don't really care. I am, like, completely out of it. Wait, but, John, what did you think of the raps, though? The raps? Yeah. <sighs> the very first time the raps showed up, I was like, okay, maybe... Yes, there's a dog in the background now. That's what I thought of the raps. No, the very, the very first time that the they started rapping, I was like, okay, this sounds a little bit like really early Tribe Called Quest. Like when, And then all of a sudden I was like, what am I doing? No, this is just crap. I can't even try. I'm not even going to try. This is just crap. And the more and the more it went on, the crappier it got. Like they 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 front loaded this movie with their A material. I don't know if you notice this, but there is like one piece of CGI in this movie. And it's fucking Ice T's afro in the beginning of this movie. What? Where he pulls where he pulls the entire fucking bat. Out of his afro, oh, that was yeah. CGI. I I don't remember that. Yeah, well, that was that was CGI. When he was when he was being that guy from the Harlem Harlem Globetrotters that has all that stuff in his afro, that was oh god. Anyway, I don't so this I, movie is, see Johnny. You should have been like me and drank too much because I don't remember I any of that. I had to work the next day. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's the thing. And, and this is really what it comes down to. To give you an idea of how absolutely, how much of a repeated kick in the balls uh, this movie was to me. <laughs> I'm sitting through this movie and I have one bright spot. There is one single bright spot while I'm watching this entire movie. Which is, at least they had the sense not to make the leprechaun do a rap. That was my one <laughs> single fucking bright spot. It was the only thing that kept me alive when watching this movie. And I got all the way to the end. I was lying on the floor, bleeding out my nose and ears. And then they just do it. They just do it. They all of a sudden... It, and, and it was everything I imagined it could be. It was... The shittiest fucking like I I will be lock someone can lock me in a room and make me listen to the fruity pebbles rap <laughs> for <laughs> like literally on repeat for like I'd say a month and I would still be happier than if somebody <laughs> made me listen to the leprechaun rap once. It was a goddamn nightmare. <laughs> And that was, it, that was a pretty <laughs> whack rap. Yeah, and it, and it, took, it took, like literally took the whole thing away from me. I was like, I was, I was in a, I was in an okay place. I was in, I was in a safe place. I had retreated far enough into my mind. The mind recoils in terror. Yeah, I had retreated so far. I was still safe though because I, I trusted them. I trusted them to not have the leprechaun, the leprechaun rap. Because they went the whole, they went the whole hour and ten minutes, and Leprechaun, Leprechaun never rapped. <laughs> and at the end, what do they do with that trust? They shit on it. They shit on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, that's my review. Thing, no, there John, is no thing. They... This is no. No, this is just a personal question. Yes. No. If they put the rap. <laughs> In its context, back where it was supposed to be, like toward the middle of the movie, I would, would not you have, have stopped watching. Yes, I would have stopped watching. That would have been. That would have been <laughs> I would have been like, I would have been like, this is a terrible movie. They're gonna make him rap. I know they're gonna make him rap. Please don't make him rap. Oh, they made him rap. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, but instead, what well, at least they is, waited to the end to dash your hopes. Well, no, I mean, this is what happened. I was like, oh my god, this is a terrible movie. They're gonna make him rap. They're gonna make him rap. Oh, it's been half an hour and they haven't had him rap yet. <laughs> oh, it's been almost an hour and he's not rapping. <gasps> it's an hour and ten minutes. Maybe he won't rap. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> rap attack. <laughs> rap attack. <laughs> oh, 
God. Anyway, that's my fucking review of fucking Leprechaun <laughs> fucking five. <laughs> and we are going to take a fucking break, and we are going to come back and watch the fuck. Or not watch. We're going to do the fucking game. <laughs> and hope- Eric, if it's a rhyming game, you are fucking fired. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck, good luck, kids. It's not a rhyming game. Good. Hi, this is John from John Hates Movies. Usually, this is where you'd hear one of our commercials. We originally set aside this time to make room for eventual advertising space. And we've decided that it's time to open that advertisement space up. So for a limited time, we're going to open this advertisement space up to you, the listener. How much is it, do you ask? Well, it's absolutely free. That's right, for the cost of zero dollars, you can have hundreds of John Hates Movies listeners listen to your message. How do you participate? All you have to do is either send us a script at our Facebook page, or you can record your own audio and send us a Dropbox link. We'll review all selections, and the ones that we like the most will show up in this spot on John Hates Movies. Submit your advertisements today! And we're back! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the game. I have uh, calmed down. I'm no longer a <laughs> madman. So we are going to launch right into the game, and Eric, you are running the game, so tell us, what are we playing? Okay, well, so today we are playing <laughs> Who Wants to Be the Leprechaun? <laughs> oh, no oh, <laughs> okay, well, so we kind of touched on this at the top of the episode, but uh, Warwick Davis is no longer the leprechaun, and uh, the 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 job of being the leprechaun is kind of up for grabs. So the four of you are prospective actors that are going to take over as uh, as the leprechaun uh, to uh, hopefully star in six movies as you know. The uh, rhyming imp that is the leprechaun. Um, <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> so I'm gonna, you know, at random, I'm gonna pull uh, each of you into my uh, casting director's office and uh, and uh, you know get uh, get some answers from you. So I suppose. <laughs> I I thought you said we didn't have to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, you can okay, you can rhyme, but. Depending on whether it's whack or not could really affect <laughs> how I feel about you as as a potential uh, star in the next Leprechaun movie. Uh, <laughs> 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 so if it's a whack rap, don't even bring it. But if it's something... <laughs> but, okay, but if it's a really whack rap, like if it's, if it's like breathtakingly bad, then it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> okay uh so are we all just getting one go at this uh yes yes <laughs> we are <laughs> um so i'm gonna start with jamie there's no second chances okay. jamie i'm starting with you okay all right all right so jamie uh thanks for coming in uh we're you know as as you've heard that's probably why you're here we're trying to cast the uh <laughs> the new lead in in uh leprechaun uh eight so, um, <laughs> so, uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Like what's, uh, what's your background? What really got you into acting? Well, I, uh, studied at Juilliard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what, you know, you, so you studied acting at Juilliard. Yes. I majored in theater. Okay. You, you're, you aren't one of those like oboe majors that just decided to get into, uh, acting after oh, you got no, out of Juilliard. No, no. Oh, okay. All right. Full um, classic, full classic acting so stage acting so if i wanted to like you know pull up some tape on your best work uh where where would i go to you know like what what should i look for what 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 do you consider your best work to be that you've already done well i was puck in midsummer night's dream oh, okay that turned out very well for me yeah you know and I, uh i am a fan of hockey was... too that was good um yeah <laughs> 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 None of you are getting the part. <laughs> no, but carry on. I like hockey. What's up? <laughs> well, it was very well received. Oh, okay. So um, I was just going to say that I, I got many well, good reviews for okay, that. Okay, yeah. Uh, j- off Broadway, I'm, I'm assuming, right? That's probably why I haven't heard of you. 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um. So so tell me. Uh. You know, if if you're to work for me and and to you know do the leprechaun, you know what what would you tell me your biggest weakness is, and how would you turn that into a strength in playing the leprechaun? Well, for this particular role. I believe my height could be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how, how can you overcome that to be the leprechaun? Well, being seven foot one, <laughs> I thought that maybe I could have a few bones removed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? That's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> now, does your budget account for that? You know, yeah, we've got a lot of uh, of uh, doctors on staff. You know, they don't really have their license anymore. It's kind of like a gray area. You know, they used to be able to work, but then they got in trouble for uh, for trying to reanimate dead uh, tissue. So, uh, <laughs> so we can have some of those guys work on you. Um, one more question. You know, looking at your your previous work experience, it looks like you were fired twice from two from uh, two different productions. Uh, what 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 happened? Why did you get fired from two different uh, movie studios in the past? Well, it's kind of a tough story. I don't <laughs> usually like to talk about those very often. Oh, okay. But I mean, well, just I, I will know, be very open and honest. Yeah, with maybe you. just give me one of them. That, that's fine. My portrayal of Simba in The Lion King. Uh-huh. Was uh, hailed to be well. Now I disagree with this, <laughs> but I was told it was incredibly racist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why they say that it's so racist. I mean, <laughs> we're in Africa. If I'm going to be throwing a spear, I'm going to be throwing a spear. Okay. Well, you know. Jamie, I, you know, I really, I, I thank you for coming in today. Um, you, you are absolutely under consideration for the role of the leprechaun. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. Thank you for considering me. <laughs> God, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So, so next into the casting director's office is uh, Alexandra Mitchell. Alex. Oh, you know, what what made you get into acting? What, you know, where where does your passion for acting begin? Well, I basically just really like to be the center of attention. <laughs> I think that uh, that everyone should just just want to look at me all the time. Oh, okay. You know, I we, you know, that's familiar Be careful. That's that's <laughs> familiar territory to me because we get a lot of people in here that uh, that feel the same way. Um, so But I'm sure that my breasts are bigger. <laughs> <laughs> okay um well i you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> moving on <laughs> we love having women here at this company but what do you think the challenges would be having a woman play the leprechaun I think right now in society, we're really just, we should switch roles, just switch gendered and just have, have, you know, female power. Just really, does the leprechaun need to be a man? No, I can do it perfectly fine. Okay. Um, can you, can you give me a little bit of, uh, brogue? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been to Ireland once. <laughs> And we went to County Cock. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that was that was interesting. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> another question I would have for you. I, you know, I noticed from your resume that you know you worked with uh, uh, the the Upright Citizens Brigade for three years. What is it that made you want to move on from working with them? Boredom. Oh, okay. Did I mean you just didn't want to be an upright citizen anymore, or what? <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be my take too. Stonewall. <laughs> Stonewall. Perfect improv. Yes. <laughs> yes. And no. <laughs> Okay, uh, well, I, you know, I guess I've got one more question for you here. Um, 
you know, have you, you know, things happen sometimes in, in movie productions and, you know, I don't want to get into it, but sometimes shit goes wrong. Warwick Davis needs like five hookers one night and it costs the, uh, the studio a bunch of money. Have you ever made a really big mistake on set that cost the company money? Uh, you know, how did you get around that? How, you know, how would you fix that in the future? Well, when it happened, I just denied that the affair ever happened. Oh, who did you have an affair with? I don't want to get into it. It's all such a blur. There was a lot of never cocaine, happened. but it didn't happen. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so you've never done anything wrong, but there was a lot of co- a lot of cocaine, and it didn't happen. Yes. <laughs> 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 okay, well, you know what? Thank you for coming in, and uh, we will keep you in consideration for uh, for the role of the leprechaun going forward. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, next up is John. Uh, John, can you tell me a little bit about... Uh, so, your name is Jonathan Barrup, correct? My name is Johnny B, and I'm here to say I love leprechaun in a major way. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's 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 wonderful to hear how enthused you are about uh, about the role of the leprechaun. Um, what what drew you as an artist to the leprechaun? What made you want to be the leprechaun? It looks like a good paying gig. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know we have. And he'd love to do a jig. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boom. There were a lot of perks for Warwick Davis that came along with uh, doing the Leprechaun. Like, we were basically uh, responsible for him getting into the Harry Potter franchise. So, if you know, if you're, if you want to uh, do the Leprechaun, I we... would love to be a Harry Potter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. I really could. Can I, have... Can I do that now? Well, you know, the Leprechaun comes first. So, I had to be a Leprechaun in order to be a Harry Potter? Yeah. Um,. <laughs> Yeah, you do, it, and it, it's, it's. How much does a Harry Potter pay? Well, you know, Harry Potter, you get a lot. Leprechaun, you know. Can I be a Harry Potter? No, thing? not right now. Here's the thing, <laughs> you know, the week to week revenue that we get from from having a leprechaun, like you get a little bit of money. It's like a stipend. Mm, that well, doesn't sound as good as a Harry Potter. No, but like you know, so you get a little bit of a stipend for being a leprechaun. But like the 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 way you really get benefits from being a leprechaun is in the perks, like you know. Warwick Davis got a lot of hookers and blow. Uh, like, just tell me what you need. Is it like comics and cats or what? I would like to get to be a Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you mean a wizard? Do you do you want to be a wizard? Are you a wizard? Oh, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'd like to be a Harry Potter, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay well you know we'll, we'll see what we can do for you but for, for right now we're uh interviewing for the Thank role of the leprechaun <laughs> <laughs> okay well you know i have a couple more questions for you here um you know like so the studio we're, we're not like a private studio we're publicly owned and like a lot of our uh shareholders would prefer that the leprechaun be um, someone of Irish descent. So I like, I know that you're not an Irish person. Mm-mm. How, what would you, what would you, what would you say to our shareholders that, uh, that would hold it against you for not being Irish? You'll find no better Harry Potter than Johnny B. <laughs> <laughs> I could answer it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chatty B. <laughs> okay, well, I think I've just got one more for you here. <laughs> um, okay, uh, John, what, what are a couple of the most courageous roles you've taken in acting? I was once a Kermit the Frog. <laughs> and... I was also a He Man. <laughs> now, are you trying to tell me that you were a frog and you were a cartoon character, or that you were Kermit the Frog and He Man? I was a Kermit the Frog. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I was a He Man. <laughs> okay. I was never a battle cat. <laughs> were, you, were you a Megatron at, at any point in the past? 
No. Okay, good. I was a star scream. <laughs> 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 okay, John, I, I I feel like we've got all we need from you right now. Um, thank, thank you so you. much. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Next one in to sit down on the casting couch is James, uh, and you're. It looks like you're the last one to to uh, try out for the role of Leprechaun today. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your past as as an actor? You know, what are what are some of the favorite roles that you've played? Um, uh, I just uh, wandered off the street, and this seemed like a interesting place where i could get some pie and um i interesting rolls i i ate a swiss roll for lunch <laughs> okay yeah we you know we do have like i have a roll of paper in my pocket of expired prescriptions that i keep you know I, you know this might be uh attractive to you because you know our official caterer is little debbie so like we have an unlimited amount of Swiss cake rolls, like at our disposal. Um, so it's really. I'm a- a Harry Potter. <laughs> 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 Period. Of course. Um, According to the judge, I'm not allowed within 500 feet of Little Debbie anymore. Oh, really? You, like Little Debbie has a restraining order against you? Uh, I'd never caught her name, but I think <laughs> that was it. <laughs> <laughs> okay um so i'm you know i'm it's you know it's funny that you say you just wandered down off the street because when you walked in the room you handed me a resume and i'm i'm taking a look at it here and it looks like you've changed careers multiple times um why sh- yeah it's it's it just says resume at the top because that's what i have to remind myself every time i lose a job <laughs> Okay. Well, so it looks like you're experimenting, going from different career to to, to, to different career. Um, why should I let you experiment on my nickel? I have had some amazing experiments, <laughs> like DMT and like angel dust. Oh, we're... I will make you see things that you didn't think were possible. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? Do you know Timothy Leary? Is he is he somebody you know? There, there is a fourteenth color. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's it? That's a, a, only Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> what's it called? What what is this fourteenth color? I've never heard of it. It's not it's not it's not on the Ragey Biv spectrum, right? It's not indigo or Biv or whatever. Leprechaunium, it's in green. Okay, okay, it's like some kind of super rich green. I like that. I like that. Uh, do you do drugs? No. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> Maybe a little. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, but I don't fuck them like you were implying earlier. <laughs> 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 um okay so you know so things things that at this production company have kind of been a, we've we've had a rocky past um have you ever you know dealt have you ever been part of an organization that you know has been going through some turmoil how did you deal with that i had a lot of confusion in my life for a long time okay but i like to talk to you about the church of scientology <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Talk to me. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, James, I've I've got one more question for you today, and and uh, thank you for giving me so much of your time. In in a career as an actor, do you feel like it's more important that you're lucky or that you're skillful as an actor? I think skillful because I read um, just now that this movie was about raps and I can rap. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, if, if you're if you can rap, I would really like something that could really put you over the top is if you gave me a little bit of a rap right now. You just got to get in the right mind frame. Here. Yeah, of course. Of course. I mean, if you'd like, I can lay down a beat for you. It's no problem. <laughs> Not with your mouth, please. That gets distracting. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> oh shit! Watch out! I'm a Buster Rhyme. Keep the beat going steady. I'm the imp of time. You can't hate on this, cause this shit's divine. I go with flow like green goes with lime. I got a face only a mother could trust. I'm on cereal boxes, cause I'm causing cereal lust. But she's wanting my nuts, so it's either booty or bust. And she'll be screaming like a demon riding on the short bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a dreamboat girl, and she must be dreaming, but she's the captain of the ship because she's commanding my seamen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th- that's right, bitch. I'm hard of the scene. <laughs> you ever seen a hairy midget come green? I was about to chew it up like an Irish spring. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh shit, I forgot. Your mom's vision precision's like emotions to Spock. Check the hands on the clock. Uh, <laughs> bitch, it's my time to rock. I'm shredding cousins by the dozens while she's riding my butt. I- <laughs> 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 but I guess my bitches are all pretty fly, even though they always keep on asking me why. Well, why is a letter with a long, long tail? And I write these lyrics, she can feel like prell. Shit. I'm so fly, I'm knee high. I used to swing low, now I let those fuckers know that my metaphysical matter is shedding step ladders, is crawling with snakes. Make no mistake, I ain't fake. Wake up. Wow. Thank wow. you so much, James. That's uh <laughs> That's amazing. That was that was a wonderful rap. That was wow. uh, that was uh, decidedly not whack. Um, Shit, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, James, you won the game. Yeah, <laughs> God, yeah, you did. Jesus, James, you have won the game. What are we watching? We are watching Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Woo! Oh yeah! Yay. All right, love that movie. Yes, this is an excellent. Uh, okay, I know I've taken shit for it before, but you know what? This time it's true. This is horror comedy, horror comedy done, done, done right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker and Dale <laughs> no la di da Mr. Fucking Leprechaun <laughs> So that's right Next week you heard it here first on John Hates Movies We are going to be watching Tucker and Dale vs. Evil Yay! Hooray <laughs> <laughs> My name is Tucker My name is Dale <laughs> Alright let's go fight some evil Johnny You <laughs> Wait, got it Tucker, Dale <laughs> Alright goodnight everybody a great big thank you to our staff graphic artist, Tabby Walters, the weekly cast, and our listeners. You can listen to our podcast on iTunes, the Stitcher app, through YouTube, or directly on our website. Feel free to send us a movie review suggestion. Every third episode is listener appreciation where we choose from your suggestions. You can reach us through social media, either by liking our Facebook page, John Hates Movies YouTube channel, or following our Twitter at John Hates Movies. Our music was composed by Kevin McLeod. You can find this track and many more on his website, in Incompetech. Dot com. Thanks for listening, and tune in next week to hear someone say... Shit, watch out, I'm a bust to rhyme Keep the beat going steady, I'm the imp of time You can't hate on this, cause this shit's divine I go with flow like green goes with lime I got a pot of gold that's as big as my head And a pile of girls that'll break my bed I may be so bread, but I'll fill you with dread And if you touch my gold once more, you're fucking dead It's Halloween, you wanna see a trick? I'm the number one stone cold killer from Limerick While you're stripping for cash, I'm doing molly and hash I'll eat your ghost clam, call it bangers and mash Cause I got a face only a mother could trust I'm on a cereal box, I'm causing cereal lust But you're wanting my nuts, it's either booty or bust I'll have a screaming like a demon riding on my show bus I'm your dreamboat girl, and you must be dreaming You're the captain of the ship, cause you're commanding my semen I'm all loaded up like like an iris spring. Have you ever seen a hairy midget come green? It's coming out green cause my flow is sick and I've got a snake that'll scare St. Patrick. That's my tactic, fucking geriatrics and I'll come back for you three bitches for the hat trick. You wanna see? Nah, this shit's like Leprechaun Origins. Nobody wants to see this shit. This girl over here though, she's lucky. Can't see a goddamn thing. See what I'm saying? Oh shit, I forgot. 
Her vision positions like emotions to spot. I'm a leprechaun. I can handle my pot. And the four-leaf clover is all that you got. You got the four-leaf clover. I'm about to bend you over. And I'll beat you up and down the cliffs of Dover. You got me hunting like crocking for profit for my pocket. That's my heart's desire. That, that is spitting fire. fire. My beat's so sick it's in an ICU. But I see you can't flow like I do. What? Watch me run while I trip beside you. Think you can beat me, bitch? You've been lied to. So give me my flute and I'll let you go. Before I do that, I'ma let you know. My metaphysical matter is shattering step ladders. It's crawling with snakes. Make no mistake, I ain't fake. Wake up. Mike.